joined by Dustin Poirier, victorious tonight with the doctor stoppage at the end of round one. Congratulations on, on the fight and, and what you pulled off tonight. Obviously, the, the way or the manner in which it finished probably wasn't what you or anybody right. had of hoped. I just want to get your, your assessment on, on thoughts on the whole situation before we get into the kind of emotional side of things. Yeah, you know, you, I felt like I was in charge of the fight um, and, until that point, and I felt like me checking the kick is what caused the leg to crack. Um, better him than me. Did you, did, when you say it was checking it, did you feel something? You know, we, we've seen that horrific injury of Chris Weidman just recently mm -hmm. with Uriah Hall and, and Uriah, you know, said the same thing. Like, I felt, I felt it. Did, did you, as the, on the other end of it, feel something that feels different to when you deliver a kick ordinarily? I, I mean, I knew my bone hit his bone and my weight came forward at a very, they met, the forces met. And the knee is obviously thicker than that part of the shin. And uh, I think, I'm, I mean, I have to go back and watch the fight because maybe it was his foot on that one, but I feel like the, the best one I checked was when I pointed at him right after. I feel like that, that could have been the one that cracked the leg. Until that point, Connor came out fast as we knew and I'm sure you expected he would do. He, he did a few of the lower calf kicks as well. Um, you delivered some of your own. He, he, he never hit the calf. Everyone, oh, was on, everyone was on my knee. Right. He never hit the calf once. Right. So in terms of up until the point of the stoppage, talk us through some of the what you feel like you pulled off and, and what you're pleased with with regard to that part of the fight. I thought um, keeping his hips down on the mat, shelving his legs, keeping him on his back for me to throw elbows, um, me, me dropping good elbows on him. I think I hurt him on the feet as well. Just my patience. I was happy with my patience and my, my vision. One shot he threw on the feet got through, uh, left hand. Uh, I didn't really see it, and it was kind of coming at a downward angle. But I have to go back and watch the fight, you know. It, it was pretty quick. And you decided to let him up or, or to, to get the fight back onto the feet at the very end. You, was that because in your mind you were like, okay, I'm receiving el elbows to the head. He's, he's given, you know, given some as well. What, what was your thinking behind getting back onto the feet at that very last point in the round? I did that because, uh, no, I would have loved to stay sitting on top of him in cruise control throwing elbows. But he, was, he had three fingers inside of my glove and he's pulling me into up kicks, cheating, doing what Connor would do. So obviously the emotion's a big part of this as well, and, and you've been very very calm, obviously a little bit frustrated by some of the, the actions and antics and things said towards your wife and the social media, et cetera. No, I could that, go on. That, that didn't bother me. The, the death talk is what bothered me. All that stuff was, you know, I know that's not true. Mm. So my question was going to be, you, you said you were focusing on staying calm and your composure. How, now, you know, now it's all said and done, how, how hard was that to do? It wasn't. I felt very calm in there. Um, I've, I've made that walk so many times. Um, I felt very calm. And then seeing the, the injury that Connor's suffered as a result of this, you still f feel from you that there's, you know, you're, you're still angry, angry about it. That, you know, I, obviously we don't wish that on anyone. You said yourself you want him to go home he was safe. He sitting there to his on family. the mat with the yeah. broken leg, yeah. point, doing like this, telling me he's going to yeah. kill me still. Like, what yeah. are you doing, bro? Yeah. That's disgusting, man. I'd break his other leg. So as a result of this, do you feel this chapter's fully over now? Do you feel like you can put this one, because this was really to kind of end the chapter, wasn't it? Do you feel in your mind that you, you can put this to, to rest now, or do you still think there's something there that of needs finishing? Of course not, of course yeah. not. I don't think this is, this is gonna be put to rest, but he's got a long uh, road ahead of him with recovery from that kind of break, I'm sure. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I think it takes a while, and uh, we'll see what happens, you know? If, uh, if I fight again soon, it's gonna be for UFC gold. Yeah. And, and right now, I just want to go home to my family and, and relax. Absolutely. But let's, let's talk about that, the UFC gold. Obviously, you took this fight, and Dana White said, credit to you for taking this fight. You know, a lot of money was involved in taking this fight. And you said, well, I need to beat Conor to, to, beat the, you know, to be the champion anyway. So you've done that now. You move on to fight Charles Oliveira um, for that undisputed title. What does it mean to you to get this opportunity to fight for that title again? I'm excited about it, you know. I've uh, been fighting... And to fight against a guy like Charles, we have similar paths. You know, we've both been beat up and climbed back up in two different weight classes. You know, he fought featherweight as well. And he, we both grew up in the octagon. You know, I think he's been in the UFC 10 years or more. I've been in the UFC 10 years. So, uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for the kid. He's put in a lot of work and he's very dangerous. And um, he never lost hope. And, and that's what happens when you keep grinding. You know, you're completely right. Both of your stories are, are really nice to see. And I think for a lot of people, that, that respect between the two of you will be a nice build up to the fight as well. Um, you want to get back to your family, obviously, but how soon would you like to get in there to fight for the title? I don't know. I just need to decompress. Yeah. I feel like since my last fight in January in Abu Dhabi, whenever I was doing the one and one I, I knew right away that this was the next one. That's why, you know, I doubled down on myself by taking this counter fight and turning down the title fight in May against Charles. And it paid off. And, 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 uh, here we are, but I just want to decompress a little bit. I've been preparing for Connor 
uh, number three since number two ended. So I haven't had time this year to really relax. Absolutely. And you've got to make that switch now when you fight, when you prepare for the same person, you know, for, for two fight camps. You've done it obviously in the past as well. You've got to kind of get into a different mindset. You've got this jujitsu specialist ahead of you now in Charles Oliveira. Have you allowed yourself to think about how you might fight someone like Charles? I mean, after the decompression phase, obviously. Probably just calf kick him, really. <laughs> Is that going to be the technique going forward? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I, I would definitely have to step my jiu-jitsu uh, game up and um, get back on the mats with some, some really good guys. And we have all that at American Top Team. And even back home, I'm lucky enough in Louisiana to have very high-level jiu-jitsu uh, practitioners around me. So I can get my neck choked up um, whether I'm in Florida or in Louisiana. So that's good. I'll, I'll start working on that. And talk to me about the crowd tonight. I mean, it was absolutely insane. Just from in our room here, we can just hear the noise, the roar from the crowd. How did it feel like to walk out to a full arena once again? It sucked, man. People were yelling all kind of crazy stuff Ooh. as I was walking to the ring. We but couldn't hear that part. Yeah, I could, I could hear it because it's directed right at me. But uh, it's all good, you know. I'm, I'm just happy I'm in a place where I don't care about that stuff. I hear it, but it's just whatever. Your mental game seems to have just improved so much. And I was talking to Gilbert Burns just a moment ago as well about coming back from that loss against Kamara Usman and, and having to get your, your mentality right as well. If you were to give a percentage to the physical training and then the mental work you do, I know your nutrition's spot on and everything you do with metabolic tracking and all that kind of thing, but if you were to put a percentage on the mental side of things and growth that you've had, what would you say it is? Um, over the last, you know, it kind of started when my daughter was born, but I would say over the last three years has been a, and I, I don't know if it's like my mentality towards fighting or just life in general, just kind of focusing on what matters and what I can control. And, and that's it, you know, whether it be goals that I set outside of fighting or goals in fighting or critics or opinions, I kind of just know what's important. And uh, I know who I am. So people can't tell me who I am. You know, I, I know who this guy is when I look in the mirror. So that's kind of just, just growing up, I guess. Does having a daughter bring that out of you as well? Yeah, I can't wait to go home tomorrow to see her. Oh. Uh, yeah. It, it does. It, and it honestly makes you look at life in perspective and, and makes me like when I was younger without a daughter, I was just fighting and I didn't care about, you know, getting damaged. And doing it. But now I think about my daughter, um, you know, fight week's an emotional week for me because I know this is dangerous. So that's why when Connor says stuff like that, you know, about death and stuff like that, it really, it really um, touches me, you know, no, like, we, it makes me upset. And we can't blame you for feeling that way. Like, I know you're going to go back to her soon. And w will she, will she watch? Does she kind of get what daddy's doing? I don't want to show her somebody's <laughs> leg get disfigured like that, but, yeah. but she, she knows what I'm doing for sure. Yeah. She sees some of the, the hype around it as yeah, well. Well, yeah. enjoy that family time, decompressing all those things and congratulations on the win tonight. We're looking forward to that title shot. You, you definitely played it right, as you said, and um, rest up. Thank you. Thank you so much.